Good evening. Thank you for joining us in Santa Cruz County. After a contentious school board meeting last night, the Pajaro Valley Unified School District has now decided to bring back SROs and parents remain fearful about the safety for their children following a deadly stabbing of a senior at Aptos High School. Many parents, however, they weren't on board with this decision, feeling funds should be used for other resources other than security. Thanks for being here for KION News at 5. I'm Veronica Macias. KION's Jonathan Saravia talked to the district superintendent surrounding last night's decision. After hours of discussion, the Pajaro Valley Unified School District decided to bring back school resource officers who had been eliminated just last year. However, Milpa is expressing disappointment. Its money, the organization argues, could have been used to support mental health problems, poverty, food insecurity, and domestic violence. It makes no sense to spend funds that are meant to be used to uplift education to take care of the students and divert them into a, a department that sole purpose is to surveillance, you know, incriminate and and send into the uh, the penal system. According to Milpa, a school resource officer cannot create any positive change. Bernard says a lot of kids are dealing with intergenerational trauma and over policing in their community. They're going to be disproportionately targeted by the, by the SROs and that's that's the facts. Those are data that was presented at that board meeting and yet the board decided to ignore facts and drive decision making through an emotional charged uh, event. Superintendent Michelle Rodriguez says everyone is on the same page and wants safety. She says it was important to come to a decision where everyone's voice is taken into consideration. That decision included both SROs and mental health clinicians, but also other safety measures such as expanding programs and installing more campus security cameras. We're hoping that we can pair, their, pair them together and utilize both of their strengths um, so that we can have a resource for the students um, that makes sure that they're safe, um, but also treated um, respectfully and, um, with, and culturally responsive at the same time. For now, the district says they'll run a pilot program at two high schools, Watsonville and Aptos High. The million dollar project will run one year and then will be reviewed to determine if things are functioning. PVUSD will be conducting interviews in the next three weeks. They're looking for officers who want to work and care about the safety of students. They hope they could find someone who speaks Spanish and can relate to students. Reporting in Watsonville, Jonathan Sarabia, KION News Channel 546.